Week five was another fun one. The Patriots were neck and neck with Houston in a surprising game, but New England came out on top 25 to 22. The Chargers and Browns ended in a shootout. The Browns held a lead most of the game, but Justin Herbert was finding wide open receivers in the fourth quarter to come back and win 47 to 42. And the Chiefs fell again, this time to Josh Allen and the Bills. After a one hour weather delay, this Buffalo team ripped apart the Chiefs defense for 315 yards on just 15 completions, then went on to score three touchdowns and rushed for 59 yards. Meanwhile, the Bills' defense exploited this Chiefs offense, holding the big plays to a minimum and intercepting Mahomes twice, including a pick six. Bills won this one 38 to 20. Now looking ahead to week six, the Bucks and Eagles Thursday night could turn out to be a solid matchup. The Eagles coming off from a comeback victory versus the Panthers and the Bucks beat the Dolphins. Now I would be more excited about this Eagles team after the big win if they were a bit more consistent on offense, but I could see the Bucks easily taking control of this game and winning by seven. In the opening lines, the Browns are a three-point favorite versus the undefeated Cardinals. This is an intriguing line as the Browns are coming off a tough loss to the Chargers, but Kyler Murray did get banged up in their week five win. And look at it this way. The Browns scored 42 points and lost last week while the Cardinals scored 17 and won. We will see if the Cardinals are deserving of being undefeated as they have not played a running game quite like Cleveland's yet and truly not too many good offenses. If both teams play like they did last week, I'm taking the Browns by three. My Rams are a safe bet this week as Giants team fell apart with injuries in week five. Saquon Barkley left with an ankle injury and will miss Sunday's game. And if you saw the picture, you'd know why. And quarterback Daniel Jones suffered a scary concussion and will be sidelined as well. And if that wasn't enough, Kenny Galladay injured his knee, although the severity is unknown. On top of all of that, the Rams are coming off a 10-day rest. So I'm taking the Rams by 14 in this game. If you want more picks and injury updates, tune in Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern to Betting with Brooke and Benny. Until then, for FTN Network, I'm Brooke Cromer.